First of all, I want to thank everyone who submitted a trick for my latest uh, tutorials. I have still a bunch to do, but um, today I thought I would teach something of mine. And so, today's trick looks like this. The trick starts off in a trapeze around your whole non draw hand. From here you're going to stick your index finger of your draw hand in and doing a, let's say, a boingy boing move here, like this. Okay. Here, tuck. boingy boing. Now you're going to intercept these two strings with your non draw hand thumb and let the yo-yo pass between your thumb and your non draw hand index like this. Trapeze around your whole non draw end. Insert your index finger and do a bang bang move. With your thumb, intercept these two strings here. Now you want to intercept this string on the top with the yo-yo. Then come back. And then you want to dismount the yo-yo from this formation, uh, keeping the yo-yo towards us, like this. And remount the yo-yo on the same string where you have dismounted it but um, after doing like a jump rope. And here you want to unmount the yo-yo from the back, circle the mount around and mount it on the same string. We are in this mount and we are going to underpass the mount, this, this string with your throw and index like this. If you now stretch your middle finger you see that a uh, four point stars is formed okay and this is the first figure of this trick like this now you want to release your non throwing thumb and underpass the yo-yo here with your non throwing thumb from this mount, you want to unmount the yo-yo uh, from the front of the mount, like this. And then you want it to jump all the mount in a forward circle motion and land on this string around your throw and index finger, like this. From here you want to release your non throw and thumb, and you are in a tower. Now you want to underpass this string and you are in the position to bind. From the star formation, you want to release your non throw and thumb and underpass as well with your non throw and thumb and this string right here. You're in this mount. Now you want to unmount the yo-yo from the front, like this. Jump all the mount and land on this um, front string around your throw and index finger. Releasing your non throw and thumb will let you in a tower underpass the tower, come back, and you are in the position to bind. Let's look at the trick from the beginning uh, with a slow-mo perspective. Trapeze around your hand, then you stick your throw and index finger in and do a bind by move. With your non throwing thumb, you're going to underpass the yo-yo and land on both strings, then intercept the opposite string, do this flourish move, come back, underpassing the yo-yo. Dismount from towards you, circle all the mount around and land the yo-yo on the same string where you dismount. Underpass with your throw and index finger, you are in the star mount. You want to let go with your non throw and thumb and underpass the string, the yo-yo, with your non throw and thumb as well. Dismount from the front, circle all the mount around with the yo-yo and land on the string around your throw and index finger. Release your thumb and you are into a tower. You may have to shake the mount a bit. Just underpass and bind. Last time from the beginning, trapeze around your non throw end, stick your throw and index finger into the loop and do this boingy boing move. 
then you're going to intercept the two strings with your non throw and thumb and underpass intercept the opposite string come back underpass with your throw and index finger dismount keeping the yo-yo towards you loop the mount around and land on the same string where you dismount then underpass with your throw and index you are in the star mount release your non throw and thumb underpass the yo-yo with your non throw and thumb and then dismount this time away from you circle the yo-yo around the whole mount and land on the string around your throw and index finger release your thumb you're into the tower then you want to underpass with your non throw and thumb and then do whatever you like to bind i hope that you found this tutorial entertaining and useful this is a trick that i came up with a couple of weeks ago uh, let me know what do you think in the comment please don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel i am diego b thanks for having spent a bit of time with me today so long